Well, you're looking for a color to accent your fall flower garden. Try adding the oak leaf hydrangea. Richard Weber with Springhouse Gardens is here with He's the, over there. I'm yeah. over here. Way, way hey over guys. there. Hi. How you doing? Well, we, I brought this nice little specimen. This is one of our dwarf oak leaf hydrangeas. This one's called peewee. Hey, peewee. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, that's, this is a pretty big peewee. But yeah. I wanted to show you, you know, they have much smaller leaves than some of the big monster oak leaf hydrangeas, like leaf. Got a couple of leaves there. Yeah, you can, very obviously, um, you can see why it's called oak head. leaf. Yeah. yeah. That's from a variety called Snow Queen, mm -hmm. which is a uh, eight foot tall uh, oak leaf hydrangea. But there's nice. these little guys that only get maybe three or four feet at the very most. So all the oak leaves right now are turning beautiful colors. These leaves will drop off, uh -huh. and you have really interesting kind of peely bark on the on the stems all winter long. Um, but most people grow hydrangeas for the flowers, right? And oak leaf hydrangeas are no exception. There's, they have more of this longer. Um, instead of really round flowers, they'll have a longer bloom on them. Uh, these are different types of oak leaves. This one is one that has a double flower. But see, these aren't very pretty right now. No, these they're are, not. That's yeah. what these I was going to say. They're I mean, just kind of these are the remnants. Looking. These are the remnants. What were when they, they bloom. In, in their heyday? Oh, they absolutely were white beautiful and white, yeah, creamy yeah, white. Really? Beautiful. In right. June, um, all the way right. through July. And now it's time those flowers are, are done, mm -hmm. but look at the fall color that you get. Yeah, I, I, that's the thing about it. Because the other hydrangea, the, when you, it does Most of them don't do anything. It's like a in the couple fall. of sticks yeah. that are sitting there. Yeah, so this, this is, is a good idea. Two seasons for sure um, the, the sum, late spring, early summer, the blooms, and then the fall. I'm sold. Fantastic. I'll take it. Um, they like sun what and else shade, <laughs> uh, and you can get them in all different sizes from ones that stay three foot all the way up to eight to ten feet. So yeah. great like for this. anywhere in your garden. They do like a moist, soil and they're one of the few plants that will take a good shady location and still bloom yeah. so yeah that's good and, and, and acidity too it'd be all right say if i uh, bury that thing under pine straw kind of they would that be area. fine with that but they don't need acidity to do well they'll do well in our our alkaline soils here in central kentucky so all it's right. a really really great adaptable uh, southeastern native american plant your witness so oak leaf hydrangea uh, hydrangea quercifolia. Yeah, and there's some pictures we're looking at right yeah, now. Yeah, those were taken around our, our gardens, our display gardens last year, and, and um, they look like this every single year. So I uh, want to tell our viewers, if you want to see more pictures, we've got our Facebook page at springhousegardens.com, or actually Facebook at Springhouse Gardens, right. gotcha. and you can see all those pictures and more. And if you want to get more information, we also have a number for you to call Springhouse Gardens. The number is 859 224 1417. Or log on to springhousegardens.com or go to the Facebook page and you can see the photos as Richard was uh, suggesting. Good All to right. see you again. Good this is a great idea. I yeah. like this thing. Thank you. All right, time now to check the forecast. Tom Ackerman is uh, standing by over at the LEX 18 Storm Tracker Weather Center. Just been